Hello, Hawksters. It's Rich Birdsell. And what are we talking about today? Binghamton Restaurant Week. It's going on until the 14th. Uh, you want some more information? www.eatbing.com. What are we talking about? Three courses and one fixed price. The proceeds, of course, to benefit the Handicapped Children's Association and the Boys and Girls Club. We were at Hole in the Wall, 43 South Washington Street in Binghamton. Exterior looks nice, very inviting, and so aren't the people. Let's give you a little walk around here quick of the inside. Just as nice on the inside as it is on the out. It's cozy. I like eating here. All right, the menu. Before we go over the menu and everything, you're going to hear me referring to my beautiful date, Lisa. So without further ado, the world. Lisa, Lisa, the world. Okay, first, course one. That's kind of like your appetizer. There's a cup of homemade soup. You got to choose from the signature creamy mushroom or the Japanese miso or the soup of the day. Lisa got the creamy mushroom because it's tasty. Uh, here's what it looks like. That does no justice to what it actually was. All the mushrooms and it was just full of just hearty, chunky, awesome soupage. <laughs> For lack of a better explanation at the bottom of that bowl. I, of course, went for the vegan option, the Japanese miso, which its presentation was excellent. At the bottom of that bowl there are quite a few cubes of tofu. Trust me, delicious. All right, course two. We'll just run through it real quick. Try and read with me. Half a pita pocket, whole wheat pita stuffed with organic mixed greens, tomatoes, cucumbers, and sprouts. You can choose from sun-dried tomato hummus, baba ganoush, falafel with yogurt, sesame dressing, or a batter-dipped all-natural chicken with homemade Russian dressing. Pesto pita pizza, whole wheat pita, topped with the signature pesto sauces, mozzarella, and Parmesan cheese. You can choose from basil pesto or sun-dried tomato pesto. The tostada, organic corn tortilla baked with the homemade refried beans, mild cha-cha, hot sauce, and mozzarella cheese, topped with organic mixed greens, tomatoes, cucumber sprouts, and sour cream. Or the organic mixed green salad with a choice of baba ganoush or sun-dried tomato hummus. Turns out, Lisa and I aren't far off here, because we both ordered the baba ganoush. Oh, why wouldn't you? The baba ganoush is pretty tasty. And it looks great, too. Look at this. This is how it came out. Also, Hole in the Wall makes their own hummus from scratch, and they have a special way that they do it. I mean, it's it's awesome. I can't explain it, because I, I don't know food science. I'm no Guy Fieri. But listen, that was tasty. Moving on, course three, dessert. We had the choice of a fat-free mango sorbet or a raspberry chocolate chip big teas brownie sundae. A warm brownie, moist and gooey, topped with a scoop of vanilla ice cream, homemade raspberry sauce, fresh whipped cream, and a hint of cinnamon. Hopefully that voice distracted you from me using moist in the explanation. <laughs> Lisa and I got the same thing, which was the fat-free mango sorbet. And as you can see, that's good stuff. You don't get a color like that out of sorbet unless it actually has mango in it. And it had like this undertone of some kind of like green tea. I'm not even sure if that's correct, but I'm telling you, that was tasty. I also had a chance to sit down with the folks that own the place. So, uh, hold on, let me cue up the video. Hey, it's Rich Birdsell, and we're here for restaurant week at Hole in the Wall. State your names. Who are we sitting with? Elliot Fix. Stacy Gould. And uh, you own the place, I take it? Yeah. We do. So uh, I know one of the things that you guys have here that's really great is that hummus that we had inside our baba ganoush. Now, why is that hummus so delicious? Well, for one, we don't use canned beans. We start with uh, you know, real beans. Right. We soak them overnight, which basically removes some things that are naturally in beans that keep you from avoiding all the good beans. Right, and maybe taste funky or something. Yep. Yeah. And uh, we pressure cook them, we right. take real lemons and juice them ourselves. So it's everything, everything is made from scratch here, right? We're not yeah. dealing with like Dressing. frozen stuff, right? And you can definitely tell by the taste of all the food, it was, it's pretty amazing. So um, what do you think of Restaurant Week? You like? We love Restaurant Week. It really, 
um, the community comes out in droves, you know, to really support a great event. People get excited to try independent restaurants that are here. Yeah, things they've never had before because they can look at the menu online beforehand to see if it's something that interests them. Right. Um, and then the other great thing is that we're giving for every lunch you order, every dinner you order, um, a portion of that goes to a local charity. Right, which really I think is back. on this thing up here, yeah, Handicapped Children's Club. Association and, of Boys yep. and Girls Club. And Children's Association, a new one. So, yeah. yep. so that's pretty great. And yeah. uh, so why, why don't you tell everybody your address here before we go? It is 43 South Washington Street. 43 South Washington, right across from, what is this, Plaza? Five. Plaza Five. Yep, right across the street. So very good. Thanks so much yeah. for joining me today. All Thanks right. so much for the delicious food. It was nice meeting both of you. Likewise. Likewise. And, uh, We'll be coming in here more often. Excellent. Excellent. That's, what we That's like Hole to in the Wall Restaurant Week here for 2016. Hole in the Wall. Great place. Right down here. Easy to get to in Binghamton. All the food is fresh. Made right there. Nothing's pre-prepared, frozen. None of that weird stuff. And it's all good for you. I don't know about that chocolate, moist chocolate, chocolate thing. But most of it <laughs> is really great for you. They put a lot of care into the food. And I got to tell you. I'm definitely going to be going back again and again to Hole in the Wall. Come back here again, because tomorrow I will have another review for you. We'll be eating dinner at Strange Brew Cafe. That's at 137 Washington Street. I could walk there from here. Okay, so till tomorrow, I'm Rich Bird, Self 98.1 The Hawk. This is Restaurant Week. Bite into it. It goes until the 14th of April.